Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hooking and Stitching Island Style. If you're watching the replay, I want to thank you and thank all returning Fiber Family members, new Fiber Family members. And if it's your first time here and you want to join the family, click subscribe, the bell, all, and hopefully you get notified when I upload. Um, nobody's here right now, so I'm just kind of multitasking. I've got a tutorial I've been working on over here for the broomstick cow. It's been, it's a process. Um, and then over here, <laughs> I, I think I had said something in one of the videos that for my instructor, they changed the entire curriculum as of February 1st this year. So I have been in the process of trying to, um, get the PowerPoints, the instructor manual, all this uploaded or downloaded and onto my teaching computer. Welcome in, Suzanne. Welcome in, dear. And it's 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 slow. I had to email them because nothing would open up. To, so I'm, I literally have to go in. Welcome in, Susanna. Welcome in. Um, I'm, I'm sitting here saying, telling that I have another computer over here that's going because I'm having to individually download the PowerPoint presentation for the um, first aid courses that I teach because everything changed. And it has been a nightmare. This has been, I'd say, my uh, technolo technology pain in the rear end week after doing taxes all weekend. And then it's just been welcome in sis. Welcome in. Oh, I know I'm so jealous. Marlene being in Mexico where it's warm. We've had rain for like six days. It's just been rain, 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 but no snow. So that's a good thing. Um, so I, yeah, I decided to come on live today because next week, the second, third, fourth, and fifth, I'm going to be in St. John for, uh, observing and co-teaching classes and then the following week i will teach my final solo class with all this new material and then i'll be able to get paid for teaching welcome in zara welcome in i've got boxes over there that need shipped out <laughs> um i bagged up some yarns i'm having issues with obi so i've got to troubleshoot that right now i'm on the elgato and um i've got happy mail advent packages going out to zara and christine for the next few months thank Tomorrow, I think clear into September. Get ready to ship them out so they have them. But everything's an individual bag, so you can't see. <laughs> Each bag's marked, but month. Um, bagged up the uh, yarn for the birthday celebration, trying to work on that, uh, decide what games we're going to play, decide how we're going to do the live, and decide the day. I've got to look at my teaching schedule and everything for for that. So other than that, um, did a knitting tutorial yesterday. And apparently, I, I apologize for anybody that watched that tutorial yesterday. I've got to see what the settings are on my camera because it, when I rewatched it, it was it seemed like it was a little blurry. So I've got to mess with settings. So like I said, this has been technology week. So I've got to troubleshoot some, some of the tech, tech stuff. So. Okay. Dear, have a wonderful evening. We'll try and be quiet. So that's how that's how it's been. So I decided to come on live today. I am trying to get more videos out, but got to have content. No sense coming on with if you have nothing to say or show, you know. But I mean, there's lots to talk about. We have the birthday celebration to talk about. You know, it's you know, welcome in, Adia. Welcome in, dear. Um. And if you are in here and you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to participate in the birthday celebration and a chance at some really nice yarn prizes and uh, a Centro knitting machine, um, I've got a bunch of other stuff that I've got to um, bag up and get organized for prizes. Um, it's it's going to be a subscriber only chat. So I know that the Fiber Family members are the ones that will win the gifts. Because you're the ones that support me, come and watch the videos and comment and come to the lives. I know a lot of you are part of the Yaya group. Um, and actually over in the Yaya group, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a live on the Yaya group in the afternoon. I have to run to the mainland in the morning. I've got to schedule a live for the Yayas. Um, and possibly do some surprise giftaways during the live tomorrow on, on Facebook. Okay, no problem. We'll be here. 
Um, I want to. Th I, I do want to thank though, um, and and I'll probably say this over videos from now until the celebration. I had some people step forward, and I had the anonymous donor who um, is sponsoring the three uh, mystery yarn bags, but also um, Christine from Christina's Crocheting, Suzanne from Suzanne is Hooked, Darlene, Little Sis, have all donated for the birthday celebration. And I just want to thank you and show you my, you know, tell you my appreciation for it. I, I appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. And um, it, it's, it's, you know, I appreciate it. The words, there aren't enough words for me to tell you, you know, how much I appreciate it. And all the support you guys have given me for the almost five years. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll give you guys a funny though. I went and had my driver's license. I had to renew my driver's license. I got it yesterday. I look blonde. Not gray, white, blonde in my picture. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary. But I have more stuff coming. I'm waiting on deliveries for to make making up gift bags for the birthday celebration. And some will be for the potiversary. I'm just getting all the stuff together. And then we'll decide what is going to be in the potiversary, what's going to be in the birthday celebration. But yes, I did my nails myself with some gel. And I wiped off half this thumb already. I don't do my nails very often, but I'm just, I cut them all down, but these are my own nails. I don't like really bright fingernail polish. This is just a, a bright coral. I like very muted tones. I'm not one of those bright yellows and greens and I like corals and just, I like natural, um, just French tips and stuff like that. But, um, I wanted to show you something. I, I sent this to a couple people. I found it and it was like, oh, this is going to be a future project down the line. Um, got 100 pounds of dog behind me. That's my future pocket there. I sent my sock knitters, I sent them this pattern, a few people that like to knit socks. I sent them this pattern. This is going to be on my future make is the Frosty Meadow socks. Why is that backwards to you? Let me check something here. It shouldn't be backwards to you. Let's try this. There we go. Okay. Um, it's called the Frosty Meadow socks. So... That's going to be one of the patterns that's going to be in um, the sockets that I'm putting together. What I did was I bought bought or had a bunch of um, – no idea what this is uh, – that are going to be some prizes. There will be a set of needles, whether they're DPNs, 9-inch circs, or the three – like my um, Haya Haya Flyers. That's going to be something for gift bags. Um, there, I found this pattern. And it intrigued me. And now I don't know. It, it, it's a mosaic blanket. And uh, I don't know where it went to. So I'll have to find it. Anyways, it's a lighthouse. It's a lighthouse. Welcome in, Jen. Welcome in. Okay. Well, thank you for coming, Jen. Don't forget thummies. If you're thank you, just if you don't forget up or down, whatever you choose. It all works. As you can see, I have a mess here. I have stuff going on everywhere. Um Yes, craft room is in disarray because I haven't been able to devote the time to clean it. That's why I try to put things back as I'm doing. Anyways, I found this pattern. I have no idea where I put it. I'll find it again and I'll show it. Oh, say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so that will be, um, you know, one of the things. It, it's it's I. Uh, I sent it to a couple people. And it, the guy that designed it, it says filet crochet, but the blanket itself is a mosaic. Um, I just don't know if it's inlay or 
um, overlay mosaic. I haven't had really a chance to look at it. I just, it was, it's a lighthouse and you know, I'm all about the lighthouses. Managed to make some more stitch markers. I got, I'm trying to get a bunch of stitch markers done for uh, prize packs, you know, so they can be added in and uh, gifted away during the uh, birthday celebration. Now, all input is appreciated very much. I'm trying to decide how to do this, whatever day I'm doing it on. Um, because there are people in the family that are on the other side of the pond or on the other side of the world. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to split it. So everything's fair. Um, because some people are sleeping when, if I do it like, you know, certain times of the day. So I thought about splitting it into two, three hour lives. Um, like do three hours and give myself a little bit of time to kind of get ready and come back for the second three hours. And people are going to say, well, how, you know, how are you going to, the prizes and stuff? The one, the, the, the big prize, the $200 mystery gift bag of, of yarn. It's $200 worth of yarn. Um, it's actually a gift box because it, it has to fit in a box. Um, it's going to be for, as we had talked about before, the spinny wheelie thingy for um, PayPal donations, Ko-Fi donations, Ko-Fi, coffee, whatever you want to call it. Of five dollars Canadian, that will be spun at the end of the second live. But everybody from the first live and the second live's names will be on that wheel. That would be like the last thing that gets done before we sign off, say our goodbyes. As far as the fifty and hundred dollar bags, um, what I may be doing is doing a fifty and a hundred on each live. Um, I'll just sponsor the other two. Um, it'll be yarn for my stash. I won't chop any more for yarn, but it'll be yarn for my stash. But it'll be you know fifty dollars worth of yarn, hundred dollars worth of yarn, because I do have some nice bougie yarn, and I do have some I have some nice yarn. You're talking ten to twenty dollars a cake. Some of my cakes, as you can see behind me, you guys know I have a lot of yarn. <laughs> um, has anybody else here had starditis lately? Oh my gosh! I mean, starditis. It's crazy. Um, but, you know, welcome into everybody if I missed you. Um, I have to roll through the chat here. Let me see. Do, do, do. I think I got everybody. Um, I just need to go over here and go here and go here. And, oh, yeah, so that's where we at here. But, no, I... Uh, I just, but I would like your input though. I would really like your input. It would be so much appreciated. You know, it, it, it really, really would be appreciated if I could get your input. There we go. I just had to, I had to monitor that there. I don't know where my chat's at. Chat's not showing up. Huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. <clears throat> it's a day. It's a day. But Marlene, I I'm, I'm I'm glad you're on vacation. Hopefully, you know, since I'm quote semi retired now, you'll be proud of me. They called me twice to work and I said, mm, I had plans, couldn't work. So I am learning to say no. Plus, I've been so busy with classes and stuff for instructing. You know, and I had <clears throat> Oh, it doesn't? Oh, <laughs> you know what? I got to update that. It's been so long. I've got to update it. <laughs> so let me let me turn that off. Do, 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 do. Hide. But we'll do this here. And if you're asking what's an island yarning, island yarning. Yeah, that's true, too, Jen. That's true, too. That's true, too. We'll work on it. I'll have everything in order because I'll do one final video before the birthday celebration with all of the things we're going to do, games. Because we're going to play some games. Um, I have a couple people working on that. Uh, also, too, the door will be shut. So my puppies, I, I love my puppies, but they can be a handful. Right now they're sleeping, but they can get quite active. 
<clears throat> and at the, at the current at this current time, uh, Gracie is ninety five pounds, and Kiva is approaching a hundred, and she's not even a year old yet. But uh, thank you, Shania. I I've, I've got to update my info for the for the uh, for the channel. I put that up there like last year, the year before, and just haven't really updated it. Um, what else? I had a brain fart there. I had a brain fart. What was I going to say? Oh, my word. I, <laughs> um, oh, Island Yarnies. A few people have asked me what Island Yarnies are. Island Yarnies is my membership. I I haven't got... I'm, I'm still a thousand hours short on my uh qualifying for monetization type thing but i've had a ko-fi cough coffee whatever you want to call it um page for a while i sold some stuff off off there and that's where my island yarnies is at and there's a link to it in the description box but people that support the channel and and the money from that is what pays for shipping and helps pay for the stream yard uh the monthly stream yard fee that uh that is associated with StreamYard, but that's what it does. It goes back into the channel. And um, I know I don't do as much as other people with memberships. I try to do, um, you know, a couple of packs a year if I can. Um, I did one at Christmas and I do a welcome pack. Welcome in Dragon Cat. Well, I hope everything's going at Physio. So my hair is up in a clip because I moved, what was the day before yesterday, a friend of mine came over and he helped me move all the living room furniture that was up here downstairs and moved the leather sectional set upstairs and I was cleaning and moving around and I am paying for, <laughs> um, Marlene, that's what I'm working on. I've got to look at my teaching calendar. It's going to be after my actual birthday. It'll be towards the end of April um on a, on a weekend i'll probably do it on a sunday that seems to be a good day for everybody sunday um probably the, the last week or so of april that's what i'm trying to decide on i'm I, i'm trying to get a handle on teach my teaching schedule i am slowing down I am, i'm slowing down a little bit i mean <laughs> i've got a big chambers meeting next month our big annual me general, general meeting. Um, I've got to do a bunch of stuff for that. And I just finished doing taxes for the chamber on Saturday. Got them all done, though. Got my taxes filed. Got that all taken care of. Got some stuff out of the store. Still working up there, working downstairs. Getting my I got my office three-quarters set up. But I still have a lot of work to do downstairs. Get the guest bedroom set up, the carpeting cleaned. I have a Oriental rug for in there. But the weather has been awful. I'm in so need of sunshine. It's not even funny. I'm in need of sunshine. <laughs> and it's warming up. I mean, the pool scheduled to be opened up in a couple of weeks. Not that we're going in it, but we're going to open it up earlier than we did last year. Because last year, we had a problem with uh, algae. A lot of people around here did because we had such a strange spring. So, welcome in, Perp. Welcome in. Rather than have to deal with that algae, right now the water is crystal clear. I can see through the mesh cover. So I talked to Dave, my guy that opens and closes the pool for us, that he said he'll be up somewhere around mid-April. So it'll get opened up. It'll get shocked real good with chlorine and let the pump start circulating that there, give it a good cleaning. So when we start getting that warm weather, in the pool. No, but... I am going to look that up, Susanna. It was by a guy, believe it or not. Um, actually, I think it's on my phone here. I downloaded it to my phone. Oh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. We gotta get the we gotta get the my files here. Downloads. Uh, downloads. Here it is. Open with the over here. It is by, it's called the Gale Point Lighthouse. Welcome back, Suzanne. And it is by um, David Q. Orth. Orths. 
it's an interdimensional fillet crochet. But if you look at this, this is not fillet crochet. This is mosaic. That's the blanket. So I printed up the pattern. And I mean, it gives it, it's all, it gives charts as well as, welcome in little sis, as all those. So I've got to do a little bit better look at it because it's done in two colors, light color and dark color. Like I do mine in maybe teal and another shade that has to do with the ocean, you know, but it looks like a challenge and it's an advanced pattern. So because normally like with overlay mosaic, you're only working with one color at a time, go across with one, cut off, go across two. But this one here, from what I could see in the pattern, you are literally doing your mosaic, but you're working with both colors. So, I mean, I'm in the process of doing that cat blanket. Got a whopping five rows done on it because it's just so slow. But that's okay. I have to Christmas to get it done. Um, I keep trying not to start anything new. I have managed to work on my solar flare. Um, my priestess coat, which I'm getting really frustrated with. I got to try it on. I've got to rip that sleeve out again. Rip out a couple of the increases I did. And then sew it back up again because the two sleeves are different. I did more increases on one than the other. So I do that. I worked on the panel for the Nordica sweater, which is just straight stockinette. Um, worked on that a little bit. I worked on all three pairs of socks. I've got two socks that are down to just a foot now. One is the second sock. The other one is the first sock. It's a pair of Briggs and Little that um, somebody ordered from me. Uh but so I'm trying to work on this stuff, you know, and get things finished that, that were started. But then what do I do? I go and start. <clears throat> I go and start. <laughs> One of the patterns that was in my thing, but I'm going to stop. I'm going to tear it out and no, 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 no. Um, I did that swatch with the... Um, Red Heart All in One Granny. I did a thing on there showing you how I, I I did get it to work out, but it was trial and error on it. I've got a stack of squares that need sewed together from my Happy Mail Advent blanket from our project last year. Um, so I said it's always something going on, you know. Um, I've got a thread project that I was working on that I've got the all five motifs done. Now I've got to do the connect. And I'm putting beads in it, trying to make uh, stitch markers because I've got, uh, I'm trying to use up the jump rings I've got because I've got a list here of cabochons that I have to order. I know, I know, little sis, I know. But like I finished on my whip cart in the cupboard there, um, I have the um, boho swatch I did from Courtney at Fiber Fox Studios. And she sent me the zippers. So I'm going to make... I have, I can't I can't tell you how I many I have I've got three pair of socks, three pair of socks, the priestess coat, my solar flare shawl, the cat mosaic, finishing up my broomstick here, my cable crush joggers. I've got currently I have eight whips going, but a couple of them are in timeouts. Because um, I'm trying to finish up some that are lingering whips from 2022, 2023. But eventually they'll all get done. I, I, I'm i getting things done. But there's a couple projects I just want to start. But I am doing the tutorial for... I'm going to bring this over here. I am doing the tutorial... This is the uh broomstick cow that we're doing this is the beginning of the lattice work it's done in two stages this is the beginning of the lattice work and then i have to come back and no it's not susanna it's not hard at all i have to come back and um do the other thing but as you can see the one panel isn't all done but I'm, i did enough of it that i could show a demonstration of this and I'll, this will be ripped out again so I can finish this panel here because I didn't make mine as long. I mean, it's more than my wingspan. Um, 
but so I'm working on that. But the lattice, the lattice work. All right, well, see, uh, my creative juices are always going, but it's just getting things finished. Um, the lattice work for this for this is actually done in three stages. You have to do a um, prep row on the two sides that you're going to be joining. And then you got a row one that sets, that does the X's, you know, and then you have to come back on a second row to get the X's going the other way. So you've got the cross lattice work. Then you come back, the final thing, the outside, you got the outside edging that you got to do down the other sides. And then, and then of course I'm doing the fringe. Lisa is doing the beads. So I know there's a lot of people that are, you know, that aren't even halfway done with their first panel. The idea of this, of this crochet along was never meant for pressure or t deadlines. There is no deadlines. That's why we haven't had a live the last couple of weeks because we figure everybody knows what they're doing. We were basically just doing, you know, a chat chit chat. So it's giving me time to. So Suzanne, so my some minor fixing going time out. Um, cause I want to make a summer top. This was never meant to cause pressure. No sense me us doing any more lives until I have the, um, tutorial ready for the lattice work. And that will be sent to the people that are doing, it'll be a private video that those that are in with, have been doing this crochet along from the start. will get a link to, to do that video on my channel. They'll be able to watch this tutorial it's not hard it just took me a little bit of time because i had to remember first of all that this was in uk terms so i had to make sure i translated it back to us terms but once i got started i finally it just it just clicked i just had too much in my head i just had to step back from it for a week and i come back and i it's it's not it's not hard at all it really isn't hard at all and um once i finish it that that very well may be a prize in the potiversary. Um, it could be gifted to somebody. Somebody's gonna end up with it, not me, but um somebody will end up with that because it was made with my two loving hands in my colors. So we'll see. But <laughs> so that's what's been going on. Um I'll show you what I meant with my priestess coat. Let me just put this over here before I lose my. I actually lost two DPNs. I had to order another set of DPNs. My Zing's 3.5 millimeters. Okay. I was so proud of myself that this has been long. This was this was from New Year's 2022. <laughs> okay, that's when this is from. And I had to, I had to take the seams out. Well, perfect. That's one of those perpetual, um, perpetual mini blankets. Like when we did the Happy Mail Advent last year, and we did the mini skeins. Sis and I are still trying to figure out what we're going to do with our minis, because I have two more jars of minis. So as you can see, I added on here, and then I seamed it up. So, and that I didn't want the the big bell sleeve. So that that's the sleeve. So then I thought, all right, got both sleeves done. We're doing good. I'm not gonna try it on. Which I haven't tried it on yet. And I look at this sleeve. Yes, there's umpteen ends everywhere. Welcome in, Anvita. Welcome in. Can you tell me what is wrong with this picture? Yes. No, mine isn't color controlled. This one is wider than this one by that much. Okay. So I have a choice. I, I can either rip this one out and add a couple more rows, or I can rip this one out and take some rows out. But here's th the catch. This is Shaw on the Ball. We all know how Shaw on the Ball is to frog. So... I'm going to have to, boy, that and it, 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 it seamed up so beautifully. Look, look how good that seam come out. And this, this isn't, this isn't blocked yet. So I think I'm going to have to tear this out 
and let's try it on. Let's see where it's at. Oh, my sweater. It's, I'm chilly today. Actually, perp, either one. I just didn't do the big bell sleeve. I didn't do the bell. And I'm not doing the hood because I am putting a fur collar on it. Actually, um, because it's going to have fur, it's going to have uh, trim down the front. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to, I probably like this sleeve better. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm sorry for being up here. Oz, uh, Obi's not on because Obi's being obnoxious today. Um, I'm probably just going to rip that out and add back on to the other sleeve because I'm putting, I'm putting fur trim because I've got a lot of fur. I'm putting fur trim. I'm doing the fur collar and it's going to come down the front, but I'm doing a linked double crochet trim on the front and on the bottom. I've added a lot to the pattern. That's why it's, it's going to take me longer. But um, I decided I didn't want to do the hood. And I'm just going to do the fur collar. And then this is going to have a border along the bottom. I don't know if I'll, I might even do fur. So that's, you know, that was a long standing whip that I was, you know, again, my fault for not trying it on as I went. You know, and... This is coming along really nice. That's what I did, Suzanne. I added into under because it was too tight under the arms. The way the pattern's written, I, it, she sized it right, but it's the yarn. I know that if I did another one, which I don't see me doing, uh, because the one coat by Moral Fiber that I'll redo is. Actually, I meant to fudge it to make it look. That's what I did. I, 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 I went from on the upper arm all the way down to just where the diamond's at because in there, there's inset diamond panels because when you did it, it was all done in one piece and you had all these open like flaps, which where the diamond, diamond pieces were done individually. They weren't done individually and sewed in. They were actually stitched into the panel itself. So I'll work on it and keep you guys posted how it is. This here is coming along. We're almost, almost to the flames. This is, and it's all scrunched up on the needles because there's almost 600 stitches right now on this uh, solar flare with the beading and everything. But I'm really enjoying it. This is what I use for my tutorials. I decided some of my tutorials are going to be. No, you did fine, Susanna. You explained fine, dear. Um, that some of my tutorials I'm going to be doing because people want some more. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, Suzanne. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my my projects I'm working on for some of the tutorials because apparently it's people, it, it enables me to show you more than just a swatch. I mean, I'm actually doing this within a pattern. Mind you, if it, I can't show patterns, but like, like I showed there, those four stitches, the increases, the decreases, and the double twisted right. Um, I'm able to show you in an actual project so you can see what it looks like um, and show you. I apologize. Um, the video wasn't as clear as it should have been. I don't understand why because this is a newer camera, higher definition. Maybe I've got a setting wrong, working on the tech issues. So I will be doing that, whether I have to put more light. Anyhow. Um, but I am doing more tutorials because people like the tutorials. Um, I'm going to be doing, but the, apparently they want more knitting. Um, I've, I've been asked for more knitting tutorials. So, how are we going to do knitting tutorials? Oh, let me find it. Let me find it. It's here. It's here. It's here somewhere. Oh, that's Tunisian. Oh, 
I've got all these books in here. Um, plain paper. Put that over there. Here we go. I've got this, and I got some you know, uh, cotton yarn specifically. We're going to make learn a stitch knit this cloth. One dishcloth a month. There are six of them in here. So I'm going to take one of the dishcloths and I'm going to do a tutorial on it. Anybody wants to follow along with me? Can. There is herringbone, the blooming dishcloth, golden coins, basket weaves, reversible texture, tree of life. So it's going to introduce some basic stitches. Like this is the herringbone one. And I'm going to do it, you know, in cotton yarn. Dish claws are a great way if you're new to knitting, if you've been knitting for 50 years. Dish cloths are a nice palette cleanser. They're also a nice way to try and practice a new stitch or technique without having to do it within a garment. And dish cloths make great gifts. They make great gifts. So we're going to do a knitting dish cloth tutorial. I've got lots of stuff that, I mean, I've got all the stitch books and stuff, but down the road, I'll be doing some more advanced lace patterns, advanced cables. Like there's one I have, it's a 10, it's a 10 stitch cable. It takes three cable needles to do this cable. Yeah, exactly. And, and that, and that, I mean, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, when I first got back into knitting after, you know, 40 years, uh, I got back 2018, actually. So it's six years that I've been doing back doing when I've been, you know, knitting and crocheting and just learning. Technically, I've only been knitting and crocheting six years. So, I mean, I did a lot of this back in nurses training. It's the last time I did any of this stuff. Suzanne, I will tell you, there are a lot of really good knitting tutorials. Stacy at Berry Pink Knits does some awesome ones. Uh, I could I could name you tons of channels. My tutorials are very basic. I leave my mistakes in the videos so I can show you how we fix them. Drop a stitch or, you know, I, I get carried away and I knit too many stitches and I've got to tink back. Tink is knit spelled backwards and tink means to take your stitches back. Yep, yeah, so will we too, another one. Um, but some people said they have found watching my tutorials. because I, um, I did a bunch on the Leisure Arts Afghan. We had a crochet along a few years ago. And um, they said they like the way I teach. I don't know. I consider mine elementary. <laughs> elementary i don't have all the high-tech equipment i mean i've got a couple cameras and stuff like that but i try to teach you as if you were sitting here next to me that's how i teach welcome in maritza hola marlene uh mary maxim one pound cotton bags best way to go best way to go that's where i've gotten my cotton at it's usually peaches and cream um it it that's where I've got, and I, it, it's a good value, especially when they have it on sale from uh, for nine ninety nine. Get a pound of cotton for a buck, for ten bucks. Well, Darlene, I mean, Darlene found it easy to learn. In fact, it was because of her that my number one standing video is a tutorial that I did for her. It was one of the first tutorials I did. I did a tutorial with her when she was do when I st started um, teaching her to knit was the Fundy Bay Shaw. And I did the simple knit two together, yarn over, knit two together for a beginning lace. It was in there to show her how to do it. That is my number one video that has over, over 12,000 views. And for me, that's a lot. For 12,000 views on that one video, it's my number one video. Most of my tutorials are, are, my, are my top videos um, that people watch which is fine. Then that means I just need to do more tutorials and getting myself into a, a rhythm, which is, you know, I was doing two and three tutorials filming, like taking a couple days when I was off doing a cup and then releasing them one a week. 
So I've got to get back into that. But they want to see crochet. They want to see knit. Tunisian. Um, I'm doing the ones on the broomstick, which eventually will be released to my public list once our crochet along is done and we do our thing later this year. That Those tutorials will be released to um, thing, and I've got to go back and organize my playlist a little bit better. I have one playlist that is just like a bunch of stuff that is my watch playlist. If somebody wants to play me in the background and just mute my big mouth to help with my watch hours. But, um, you know, I enjoy teaching. I mean, I'm teaching first aid. I have been teaching most of my life. I started teaching when I was a in teenager. I taught special ed students in the summer. Then I went on to nursing. And from there, I went on to truck driving. And I was a driver trainer for a few years, as long as my nerves could take it. I wonder why I still have hair left. You know, um, and then six years ago, I picked up, I taught myself to knit and crochet. Grandma taught me the basics on doilies when I was 10. Everything else I taught myself. Okay, perp. Okay. Well, thank you, Dragon Cat. I appreciate that. But I am I'm I'm getting more tutorials out. Um tr this one here, I've got I'm trying to finish up because it's right now I've I've spent yesterday and today working on the video, but it has to be transferred to the computer, uploaded, edited, and then tweaked and then put into uh, the list for the, pri for the private because I've got to send it to Lisa so Lisa can get a look at it. And that'll be done. And then I'm going to do my first dishcloth. I'm just going to start page one. And the first one we're going to do is the herringbone dishcloth. That's what it looks like. The herringbone stitch is a really nice stitch. And I actually have little shorty straight needles to do this with. You because you, you you can do them on circulars, you can do them on shorty straights. I like the the nostalgia of the sh the short uh, straight needles. Um, I was gifted some needles from a very uh, a, a family member, and um, it's just nostalgia to do it. And just cloth, it's easy to do it on just cloth, straight needles. I have I have a couple. These are my straight needles, and they're kept in this. And believe it or not, this is royal purple. It's kind of Velcro. This is where I keep, I keep my big DPNs for, like, hat knitting. I have my Afghan hooks in here. Welcome back, Burp. I have my Afghan hooks. And then I've got my... Chunky. These are for these are for hats. For doing the crowns. This was given to me by a friend of mine. And this is another thing. This is up there with brioche and knitting. Doing brioche knitting. Um, a circular crochet hook. This is for Tunisian in the round. This is an old. It's from the other year on here. Susan Bates. It was still Coates and Clark back when this was. It was made in Mexico. A lot of times will have, but you can, it's 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 vintage. But I haven't learned how to use that yet. So that just that that's what's in this case here. I was gifted these needles from a member of the fan, the cham, channel. I was gifted these straight needles. They are lovely to work with. Um, for the dishcloth, probably going to use these here. These are a 5.5. These are really, really nice. I even had, and this here, I got these over 30 years ago. These are boys, size 7. And I have one pair of little... You'll all recognize this ombre from Darn Good Yarn. Got this in my first set with them. So we'll put those in here too. And that's what I keep in here is my big um, Afghan hooks for Tunisian, which I do use, and my VPNs for hats 
and stuff, and then my straight knitting needles. But I will be using straight knitting needles to do my dishcloth dishcloth tutorials. And they're not the real. I can't use the real long ones. These these ones aren't real long. That's what I like about them. They're not real long. Just long enough to get a um, dishcloth onto. And I got this case from Knit Picks a couple of years, ago, gosh, three or four years ago. And it's a great, it's a great way because I've been organizing my hooks and needles and stuff. Actually, one of the prizes in for the birthday celebration you have to put together, but I got it. It is for crochet or knitting needles, but it's a paintbrush. You can put paintbrushes in it, but you, it's per, it's got two levels. That you can do knitting needles, crochet hooks. That's one of the prizes that's going to be in um thing. And who knows? Might even throw a set of crochet hooks in with it. Uh Suzanne, I use um I use both both of these for just claws. This one is four millimeter, and the other one is five. Uh, 5.5 millimeter. I use both. I use both sizes for my dishcloths because most of the cotton that dishcloth cotton I use is a number four. But if you're doing a lace, let's see what size is this. This is this is a five millimeter. So um, it real it's really up to up to you personal preference. Um, I think. What's, I'm just going to see what size they recommend here. Okay, they're saying a size 7, 4.5 millimeter. So anywhere from a 4 millimeter up to a 5.5 millimeter is great for dish claws. Um, a lot of people just do grandma's favorite dish cloth, which I've done stacks and stacks. When I got back into knitting, I knit so much, so many dish cloths. I still had the store open. I couldn't keep them in. Yeah. I use straights. It's just nostalgia to me, sis. It's just nostalgia to use my straight needles. You know, something different. That's all. Um, I like vintage. I'm vintage. I'm almost an antique. Um, I I made so many dishcloths and scrubbies that my hands were cracked and bleeding from the cotton. I didn't realize it at the time. Again, just getting back into knitting. Uh, it was the cotton yarn that was drying my hands out, and they were cracking and bleeding. So I knit so long with cotton even working on solar flare that's 100 percent cotton i have to take a break moisturize my hands and go to something else that isn't cotton just to my just so my hands don't crack and bleed and it it just happens with the cotton the cotton draws the moisture from your skin but that's once i finish this tutorial here i'm going to be doing the herringbone dishcloth tutorial so <laughs> hope everybody likes it and the thing is um if you're not a yaya -ya and you want to join just go over to the facebook and i'll approve you everybody shows their their um finished items and stuff and and a lot of the, the posts over there have been inspiration to me uh one of the things i wanted to make for the summer is the wind spinner I got the pattern. I just have to make it. Um, and there's days that I just want to crochet. I don't feel like knitting. I want to crochet. Or there's days I just want to knit and I don't want to crochet. And I'm helping Barb right now. Um, we've had a mass of babies. We have a, ma a babies being born or they're going to be born on the island. I just got wind last night. I got another baby set I got to make, but I have till October to do that. Um, I put together a blanket kit for her. I gave her the yarn the pattern and she wanted me to challenge her so i did i gave her the tree of life knitted afghan so i'm helping her with that because it's some it's totally totally outside her comfort zone and i said that's my goal in life is to push people outside their comfort zone <laughs> because i i like being pushed outside my comfort zone that's the only way i have been able to expand my skill set try new techniques Try new yarns, try new needles, try new stitches, new crafts. I've got crafts over here from Zara and Christine that I'm going to be doing and hopefully maybe try even film some of it while I'm doing it because I've got basket making, resin, 
tie dyeing, uh, all kind of, excuse me, different crafts. Which, by the way, there's going to be crafts, uh, craft kits given away for the birth celebrity. So, like I said, there's there's all kind of things in the next month <laughs> that are going on, and I've been up here blathering. I, I I appreciate everybody that runs my videos, the watch list. Just mute it. You don't want to listen to this rambling nutter. <laughs> but I mean, I get excited. There's not much I get excited about. I haven't for the past year, but I get excited about knitting and crocheting because it's it's the only place I find a sense of accomplishment and happiness. I don't know that one, Perp. You have to put it in the Facebook group. Let me see it. No, Suzanne, for that there, I, I will tell you, I and I, I I got it from I got it from Hobie, but also Premier's Bamboo Fair. <laughs> I'm getting back into sewing too, Marlene. I'm getting my sewing area set up downstairs. Um, Bamboo Fair is really, it's a number two. And it's really got beautiful drape and it's not heavy. Um, another one that I used for garments that wasn't too heavy was from Premier. And it was the Panache. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but those are, those are pretty lightweight. I go with the number two cotton. Hobie has some great, actually some of them are in the gift, they're already in gift bags there. Uh, hold on. Maybe it's not sealed. These are the bags. This is my my signature bags <laughs> that um, you'll be getting happy mail for me. And I always double line it, though. I put in another plastic bag when I put everything in it just to protect it. I've got yarn falling everywhere. This is from Lion Brand, Suzanne. And this is for babies. Because I have four of these I got for the giveaway. It's really soft. It's 100% organic cotton. Wicked, wicked soft. And it is a number two, I believe. Yeah, number two. But it's called Oh Baby Organic. And this would make a lovely um, garment for a baby or a toddler. And the other one that I get is from, I get the uh, rainbow cotton from Hobie that uh, is just like it, but it's very soft. It's very, very soft. I, I have some patterns I've been wanting to make myself a summer, just a summer tank. Uh, I'd start it now so it's done by summer so I can wear it. Because like when I made that that one that's uh, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches, I did that one that she had done well, three years ago. Or by the time I got it done, summer was over. So I had to wait till the next summer. Oh, Barb must be home. Um. But, uh, so that's one, of, that's really what I come on to talk about. I mean, it's just a gloomy day. You guys brighten my, my day, lift my spirits up. Um, I love all of the participation and I love all you guys. I mean, you're my fiber family. I mean, <laughs> I've need you guys have been there for me for this past, I mean, you've been since the beginning, but I mean, this past year, my fiber family has been a big help. In, in my mental health and getting me back to the land of the living. Um, I don't really go around a lot of people. Um, 
I just, <laughs> I just don't anymore. Hey, Suzanne, you know what? There's no. There's no deadline. That's why I don't take very many commissions anymore. I took that pair of socks. It's one of the guys I play card with. And I said, you get it when you get it. You know, and it's only a pair of socks. It's in worst of weight. And I'll get it done. I'm almost done with the first sock. But this is, I'm not going to do this if it's going to stress me out. That's why I decided no more commissions. I'm not testing for anybody anymore. The crochet along that Lisa and I are doing is at our pace. Nothing. I said, if we don't get done till the end of the year, we don't get done till the end of the year. I don't want to stress. I just don't. And I keep stress out of my life now. I do have stress, but some of it will go away as things are taken care of and that. But as far as something that I enjoy that I do to relax, stress me out, ain't happening. You guys have all seen, I have no problem with ripping an entire project, finished project out. The elf coat was a year in the making, and I ripped it up, took it all out. I've I frogged shirts and sweaters before. I don't have a problem. I've 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 been thinking seriously of of um I was going to frog my cradle crush joggers. I'm just going to put them in a timeout, put them in the corner. When I get to them, I get to them. No big deal. If I see something I want to knit or crochet that's a new pattern, small projects. I'm into doing some small projects now because I've got so many big ones going. Just crochet, vintage crochet. I like her channel. I like working with the thread. So I make some things in thread. Do what it is. Like I said, do what it is that makes you happy. Life's short. Here today, gone tomorrow. No regrets. That's how, you know, I, I've... I, this 2024 is the year that I said I was going to try and get my life in balance. It does, but you know what? I wasn't happy with it. So I wasn't, it was too big for me. And it was a lot. It took me probably three months to frog it. I still have some panels in it that aren't frogged because it was done with a yarn that was fuzzy. It was King Cole, uh, DK Riot. Very fuzzy, sticks, sticks up on itself like a uh, shawl in the ball. I still have a few more panels. Exactly, Perp. I've never had a heart attack, but I knock on wood. But that's why, you know, after losing Warren, um, that was my balance. I'm finding my balance this year. That's why I decided they didn't give me that full time position yet. They haven't said anything. And I'm gonna I'm, it's in my control, my life. Like Bon Jovi says, it's my life. And um, so I semi-retire. I'll still work on the ferry occasionally if I have, to, if, you know, for extra money. But I'm going to take my widow's retirement from the States. And that's another stressful situation I'll deal with. But I'm going to be teaching so I can pay my bills. By the time I'm 65, my car is paid off. The only thing Barb and I are going to have is our mortgage for the house and our utilities. That's it. Everything else will be paid off. So we'll just have that. And her and I split the house bills and the mortgage said hindsight. We didn't know four years ago when we built this house that we were going to lose Warren. Well, you can't see that. So luckily we're very blessed. Her and I have each other and we split the bills. We have a beautiful home. We live in a beautiful place and got two beautiful pain in the butt puppies. But, but I did want to, you know, so I'm going to start wrapping this up. It's almost 3 o'clock. I'm trying to keep my lives at an hour to an hour and a half. Um, I'm trying to keep my other videos under 20 minutes because I, I, I notice click-through rates and all stuff. I don't really look at my numbers, but I know I spend time doing my videos. I don't have a script. <laughs> my videos are not scripted. We all know that. Um Pretty much I've told you since day one, what you see is what you get with me. You've seen me at my best. You've seen me at my worst. You've seen me totally off my rocker, but nothing is rehearsed. And the only notes I'll ever have are notes on patterns I'm trying to show you. And half the time I forget that too. So I'm flying by the cuff. Um, I don't really enjoy watching. There's some 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 uh, podcasts I used to watch. I no longer watch them because they became very scripted, very 
how can I put this? Very planned, very scripted, very exact. I like to watch people in their natural element being who, it, who they are. That's what I like to watch. So, I mean, I'm not saying that they're about bad podcasts. I just don't like scripted, staged productions. I like off the cuff. And the trend for 2024 has been, mm, hold on a second. My blood sugar just dropped and I got real dizzy. Okay. Um, is they are gravitating more and more to content creators that are natural. Just, you know, come on. And you and I are sitting here having some coffee. We're talking, we're showing projects, you know, talking about upcoming. So, and yes, there is still a sale in the future that don't worry. I've got the bags. I ordered them to, I was just going to sit here, believe it or not. I was going to sit and do, do a video of me bagging up the cakes and stuff and skeins of yarn for the shop, your stash, the next install, installa installation, installment of shop, shop, my stash. Um, like, uh, and I have to give credit to where credit is due. Uh, Nancy from, she's got yarn too. That's where I watch her. She just makes me laugh and giggle when she's bagging up her yarn. And I think to myself, and I think I have a lot of yarn. Oh my heavens. I have nothing compared to that lady. God bless her. God bless her. But, um, you know, so that's like, I think they call it ASMR video or just, you know, sitting here chatting while I'm bagging up yarn. I've got a basket under here that I'm going to do an ASMR winding video on because I've got to put them all into cakes of stuff that I'd have from uh, previous projects. But, you know, um, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to do an hour live on Facebook with the island, the Yayas. The Yayas are the FB group. It is a private group, but all you have to do is apply to join. And either me or one of the other admins will approve your um, coming to the group. And we did it. I did it that way from day one to keep it private so we didn't get trolls. I literally will go and check somebody's that asked to join. And I've had people ask to join that when I go and click on their page, Nothing about knitting, crocheting, crafts, nothing. They don't get to join. I want to keep it a safe space, crafting space that we all that we all go to. Let me shut my door for a second. They've been in here with me. So, and the Island Yarnies are the members, is my membership on the channel. So, um, that's a little bit. And if... Huh? No, I didn't give them their dinner yet. They had their dinner. They they had they had dinner. Yes, they had dinner. Sorry about that. Um. So that's uh. Welcome in, Rose upon Rose. Long time no see. I know she was one of the winners. I think last year during the potiversary. I think you won during the potiversary last year. Rose upon Rose. I thought it was a neat play on her name. Actually, we're, we're, we're just getting ready to wrap this up. Um, just giving a little bit catch up here. Um, so, in the next few months, birthday celebration, we're going to have a sh another installment of Shop My Stash. We're going to have the tutorials for the dishcloths, knitting. Um, so, uh, Monday. <laughs> yeah, I tried to be. I, 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 I. I'll tell you what, people. It stinks getting older. Um, so that's some of the things you can look forward to. Yes, there's going to be more tutorials. I've had people, when they comment on the, on the video, they say, I like this video. Can I see more? So that tells me they want more in. I'm glad you liked it, Rose. I'm so glad. Um, and get more, so I can get more of those in. And I, I tell you, just like my, my podcast, podcast, video, whatever you want to call this, um, my tutorials aren't scripted. They're, they literally, literally are on the fly. I have literally done a tutorial on a stitch I had never done, and we learned together. And that's how I've done things. Um, 
that's the way I learn. That's the way I teach. And I have done, I have literally had uh, visuals like, like a Zoom with some people that wanted me to help them with the stitch. It's easier in person, but sometimes, you know, I can show, go, go to an overhead camera and I can show them. That's why my tutorials are down here um, to show them. So that's what I'm trying to do. Well, Rose upon Rose, I hope you're going to be, we're having the birthday celebration next month. We're doing a big to do for my birthday. It'll be just, just watch your, watch your notifications for it. I'll be putting a video out about it with the date, time, and all that stuff. Yes, and Vita, I am. The, I'm I, it's going to be towards the end of April. I'll tell you why. Um, for people that weren't here earlier, I'm in, my, my instructor. For, you know, you all know that I, I became an instructor for first aid, CPR, and AED. They changed the curriculum as of February 1st this year. I literally have been attending all new seminars and stuff, updating my computer, and I've got to go next week for four days, observe a class for two days, co-teach a class for two days. The following week, I will go and solo teach. I'll be graded, monitored on my teaching so then I can get paid. Since I'm semi-retiring from the ferry, teaching the first aid will be easier on my body. It really will. It'll be easier on my body. Um, I love my job on the ferry. I love engineering. I love deckhanding. But it's taking its toll. It, it really is. After I've been working since I was 12 years old, 30 years of driving transport and everything. It, it's, taken, it's taken its toll. So I want to be kinder to my body. I would like my golden years to be. With the exception of old Arthur, you know, but arthritis is arthritis. I mean, it is what it is. Um, deal with it. I deal with it. That's it's about all I can say. So I will be doing another live probably Sunday. I will get it scheduled. I've got to do some tech shooting with Obi Elgato because I've got to get a second camera set up over here on. Well, actually, I'm going to set it right here. I've got to get a second boom arm out with the camera on it because I've got to set it here close enough that I can hook Elgato to my monitor because I've got a monitor here, here, and a laptop here that I can see what I'm doing as I'm doing the tutorial. So to see if I get a better picture clear, it's not. Welcome in, Rachel. Welcome in, dear. Um, so I, it can be clear. I do again. I apologize for the quality of the video for the knitting, for the uh, SSK, Knit 2 Together, KDTR, and KFB. <laughs> I do apologize. I, I I try to make sure my, the videos are clear to see. That's why I upgraded my camera. This is an upgrade for my other camera. I guess I'm going to have to sell this one, my other Nikon, sell them too, and do something else. I do not like filming with my phone. I hate it. I hate it. So I don't use my phone. I know some people use their phones. I hate. It. I tried it once. Never did it again. I did not like the way the video came out. Um, but I do have two webcams, Obi and Gato. So we'll see. I may go with the third webcam, um, you know, for the two-camera setup. Um, but I love all you guys. And I have developed some wonderful, wonderful friendships family members um i got there's a possible chance going to be talked about in one video of latin uh, in may going to my first fiber fest up north of here sis there told me about it so i got a couple of friends from the island that uh they're not fishing would like to go so we'll see make a day of it we'll see of course of course you know me there will be footage because i will take my camera bag with camcorder camera phone oh, i have plenty of plenty of materials if you have any suggestions um, it's always appreciated in the comment in the comment section the community tab you can always get a hold of me on dm messenger instagram email you can get a hold of me any of those ways if you have oh i rose i do what i do you guys are gonna make me cry now okay i'm, I'm one of those I'm, I'm very weepy okay i can't help it I do what I do because of you guys. If nobody was here watching, I'd still be knitting and crocheting. I just wouldn't have anybody to share it with. And I so much enjoy talking to everybody. And people say, well, you're not really. I said, listen, 
the virtual world that we, the community that we've developed, there have been IRL. Mm -hmm. Look at me, I'm getting with it. In real life, friendships made. There have been where we just go from the video to where we go to talking on WhatsApp, Zooming, StreamYard, whatever, video, uh, um, Facebook Messenger video chats. Uh, no, I ain't going to be doing too much, too much Marlene. I got to be saving my money. I got the pod, the pot anniversary, five year pot anniversary. In I'm coming off the birthday celebration, going into the pot anniversary celebration, and also in the process of getting some storage built for all the stuff from the store. But um, I will bring a little because I have to get something. But I mean, so that's what I do. I do what I do because I like sharing with you and you share with me. You inspire me. Um, if I have a family, um, I don't throw the word love around lightly. Um, but I love you guys because I love the the exchange of, of feelings and friendship, community. You have a love of fiber like I do. Um and who knows what the future will bring. Maybe one of these days we can get some people together, come up to the island, and have our own fiber fest. Basically, it'd be just a girl, a girl sitting around stitching, hooking and stitching, and just enjoying, enjoying the, the atmosphere of the island and what have you. Who knows? We could do it on my deck, go swimming. I, I I have I have I have videoed from the pool a few times. <laughs> I have to make sure I keep it from here up. <laughs> but all right, everybody, listen. I want you to stay safe and stay healthy, stay happy. Do what it is that you're doing that makes you happy. Look for another live on the community tab. I'll post it up. I'll get it set up in Streamyard. I just have to figure out the times. We all know I play cards on Saturday night, and if I have a good night like I did last week, I won last week. I won $310. Um, I sometimes don't get home till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So we'll see. But I will have another live on Sunday. And in the meantime, Susanna, I, I forget who I was, I was telling that. I said, I'm going to Australia and I find out one of the new Fiber family members, Susanna, lives in Perth, which is where I'm going in December of 2025 for my 20th wedding anniversary. So, yeah, and that, again, going there, I may I get, may get to meet, once in a lifetime thing, I may get to meet Susanna, her and I can hook up and, and meet, because I will have knitting and crocheting with me, of course. I don't travel anywhere without my knitting and crocheting. But no, Rose, uh, hugs to you too, Suzanne. I'll be getting with you too on the uh, birthday celebration, the donation, see if I can get a picture from you. So when I do the video, I can get people kind of give people an idea of what, what we're <laughs> what we're doing what what they're going to be, be win, uh coming for <laughs> okay marlene that sounds good that sounds good um everybody please stay safe please stay healthy do what you want to do as long as you don't hurt anybody else but enjoy your life we only get one so make the best of it and i'll see you guys in the next live i'm going to work on the tutorials over the next couple days and get them up again if you have a specific stitch technique lace cables whatever that you'd like to see leave it in the comments community tab message me and i'll see if i can organize a tutorial for that all right all right bye guys thank you for coming mm. love you guys all see you in the next video next live and have a great day.